My name is Josephine Tengwad. I'm the producer and actress in Kiss Me. Well, we're very glad to have you here and uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about the film. Um, can you talk a little bit about, I understand that it's a slightly autobiographical. Um, can you talk about that? Uh, yeah, it's, um, a lot of it is based on my life. And um, yeah, the, the, the short story of it is that I was married to a, a man and I met a woman and um, I just had to make the film, I think, to kind of like change my life. So yeah, that's what happened. So it's your story? More or less. Yeah. It's another frame of it. And the story is that I met Alexandra, the director, and uh, I just knew that I wanted to do a film with her. I didn't know what, but... Uh, and suddenly we started talking and we got personal and I told her that I had fallen in love with this woman. And uh, she showed me a treatment about a story that was... It was quite scary, actually. It was like... It was magic in the air or something, or it was like cosmic, but it was... When I read it, it was... It was scary because it, it kind of like reminded me what I was going through. And she had written it like three years before. And uh, so we started talking about this and then suddenly we just decided we're going to do this movie together. Um, well, it's such a powerful film and it really comes across as so genuine and authentic. Um, it's really so special. Um, and I, I think that really comes through, that, you know, the, the genuineness of your story. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, the process of working with uh, the writer-director and your kind of creative process? I mean, we used the, the frame of the story that she created about this uh, woman falling in love with her stepsister. And uh, so we just started developing the script, like, really close. So all the scenes we kind of, like, worked together. And um, the scenes between the two women are especially a lot as my life and uh, so we worked really closely and then yeah we just yeah just got the story that we wanted and we got like three big or six like big rewrites and then I think we, we, we kind of like really wanted this the, the, to find the right tone in the movie and I mean Alexandra knows everything about me about my sex life about everything she had to kind of like just go into my head and and know all the steps and all the things and I think it, it, you can really feel it in the movie I can feel like when my girlfriend looked at the movie the first time she was shocked she was like how did, how is this possible how can it how can it be so much like us like the feeling and the everything mm. well the storytelling is fantastic and it's so romantic mm. and sexy um, and and so the casting the actresses are amazing their chemistry is just perfect um, can you talk about that, how you got the, those actresses? Yeah, we really wanted to, it was, a, it was a long casting process, and we wanted to really do it the way we wanted, and we uh, did like a list of the 20 best actresses we, we knew in Sweden, or 30, about approximately that number, and uh, I acted against them, and Alexander directed, and we, um, we just got this closed room where we got the actresses and we started to do the same scenes with them, and and uh, we found Liv, and when she, the girl who plays, free, plays Frida, and uh, after she had done her scene, we kind of like just sat down and cried, both of us, and we're like, okay, this is it, she's, she's Frida. And then it took a little bit longer to find Ruth, but when we, when, we, when we found Ruth and then they made a scene together, we were just like, oh God, this is, this is it, this is magic. Well, it totally comes across, and um, I, so I've been reading the reviews and the responses to the film, and, and the, it's amazing how many people say, this is the best lesbian film I've ever seen, my favorite lesbian film ever, um, and so, and I think that that is, you know, in no small part due to the, the casting and the writing being so authentic, and, um, and so the international response has been huge. Can you talk about your experience um, talking to audiences, you know, having people connect with it, um, how, what's that been like? No, it's been amazing because we've met so many different audiences all around the world and people are laughing at the same place and crying at the same place, which is just amazing. And I think the biggest thing has also been that so many people are like, this is my story, this is exactly what I've been through. And 
that is so strong. It's amazing. So, you know, not to be too shallow, but can you talk a little bit about the sex scene, which is so fantastic and compelling? I'm glad to hear that. We, uh, it was so important for us to, to, to make that work. And uh, Alexandra actually did a, a scheme with, uh, that was more or less like a dance. So they, they kind of like got the, the schedule, like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna touch that and I'm gonna take off my shirt there. And so when they kind of like got that rhythm in their body, they could focus on the chemistry and they could focus on the emotions and not focus on uh, my arm, how is that? And how is, am I going, is this looking good or bad? Or am I, you know, because none of them are gay. So they were, we had to like really make a situation where they were going to be safe and feel comfortable. And Alexander really did a good job there. And it was really hard for us to, to get the, the scene as long as they are. I mean, there are a couple of sex scenes. And like the longer one was, oh my God, you should have seen the final series in the salon when they watched the film. And they were like, you know, they didn't really know where, where to go. <laughs> and they were like, you have to cut it down. You have to make it shorter, you know. And we were just like, no, we're not going to do it. So. And that was really good that I had my own company because I could just say, no, I'm not going to do it. You know? So, but they were a bit upset, but now we're happy and now they accepted it, so it's good. Well, lesbians around the world are very grateful that you stuck to your guns on that and uh, <coughs> it's a wonderful film. And thanks for being with us and talking to us about it.